Hey, back. What's up, dude? Hey, Good. Let's lay back and kind of uh, just get, you know, be quiet for a minute. Nah. Stretch the arms up overhead, stretch the legs out. this time here just to kind of decompress a little bit. <coughs> Take a deep breath. We have to start to cultivate that breath, that rhythmic breath, so we can go a little bit deeper into these stretches. Make a commitment to Stick with the breath the whole time. Let's scoot the feet in and take the feet together. Open the groin. Easy hip opener both sides. The closer the heels are into the groin, the deeper this is going to be. Rest one hand on the chest, one on the belly. Now feel the rise and fall of the belly and the ribs with the breath. Take a long inhalation, a nice smooth one. Fill your belly. Fill your chest all the way up into the collar. If possible, exit the breath back out through the nose, emptying the chest and the belly completely. Notice if it's choppy or short. Try to smooth and lengthen it out. Take a deeper breath. Close the eyes for a second. Again, completely fill up on the inhale, belly, chest. Use the exhales to let go of some tension, some stress. Kind of melt yourself with every exhale. <laughs> now the next time you breathe out, push all of the air out of the lungs. Keep pushing it out until you're completely empty. Now fill up completely. Inhale. Fill the belly. Fill the chest. Now open the mouth. Let this one go. Let's do that one more time. Fill up. Inhale. Open the mouth. Reach up, close the knee, be easy. Now let's draw both knees into the chest. Give them a good squeeze. Take the arms out nice and wide and let the knees fall over to the right. If it's comfortable now, look over the left shoulder. If this is a little bit too much, maybe you set the block underneath the right knee or in between the thighs. Now take a few deep breaths in this twist.
take another breath and try and completely let go. Now an inhalation to bring yourself back to center. And we exhale to the other side. Now take a big breath. As you exhale this time, press the right shoulder down into the floor a little more and drop the knees. Let go. back to center, extending the left leg, right knee into the chest. Big squeeze, big squeeze. Now open it out to the right a little bit to get into the groin and the hip a little bit. And then all the way over to the left, pull the inner thigh downward. Back to center, let's rotate the ankle around, keep pulling the right knee in. Wake up all those little stabilizer muscles in your ankle. Try pointing the toes and flexing the toes a few times. Now letting go of the right knee, big circles from the right hip. Rotate the entire right leg. Now go the opposite direction, draw an even bigger circle. Nice and slow and control. Good, catch the right knee, give it another squeeze, pull the thigh into the ribs. Take a big breath. Now release the stretch, interlace the fingers or strap behind the right leg, grab onto the hamstring. Now extend the right leg. Now bend the knee. And a couple more times, just like that. While you extend the leg, lift up the heel and flex the toe. One last time, extend. Now bend the knee and rest the leg. Let's find the strap. Strap hooks around the arch of the right foot. Lay the head back. Wrap, try wrapping the strap around the hand. Does anybody else need one? Good, extend the leg. Now big breath, inhale. Exhale, pull back. Start kind of easy on this first one. We'll do another. Choose to bend or extend the left leg with the left leg straight here. This is a little deeper. If you need a little less pressure, bend the knee. But definitely try and work the right leg straight from the knee. And then work on flexing the toes. Pull them down towards the face and lift the heel up. Then pull back a little bit harder. Stick with the breath. Now take an inhale, fill up everything. Now exhale, release the stretch. Bend the knee and rest the leg just for a second. 
Now let's go one more time. Inhale, right leg extends. Exhale, pull back and stretch your hamstring. Now once you find your stretch, hold it, but don't hold the breath. Try and see if you can relax into the stretch a little bit more. Relax the muscles of the right hamstring, the calf. It might allow you to go a little bit deeper, pull back a little bit harder. Good, now a big breath, fill up. Exhale, release, bend the knee, take a rest. Work the strap up to the ball of the foot. Extend the leg, lift the heel, flex the toes, now pull down on the strap. Take a nice stretch into the calf muscle. Take a breath. Now inhale, point your toes, and exhale, again, pull down and stretch. Hold there for a breath or two. Good, one more time, inhale, point. Exhale, pull down, flex, lift your heel. Now breathe in. Breathe out to release. Let it go, maybe a bend in the knee, maybe wiggle the fingers if the strap is cutting off the blood. Now extend the leg again, take the strap to the arch, cross the strap, and let's flex the ankle from side to side. So use the strap, create a little tension down, and maybe even pull outward a little bit to tighten the strap around the foot. Then flex from side to side. Dropping the arch and lifting the arch. Now bring the leg back to neutral. Let go of this stretch for a second. Think about an internal rotation of the leg. Do that by spinning the inner thigh towards the back wall. So the heel moves to the right and the toes move to the left, but from the hip joint. Now we can lift up the arch a little bit deeper and pull down with the left hand on the outer edge of the foot. Get an even better stretch on the inner ankle. Maintain that internal rotation and stretch, stretch the ankle. Now do exactly the opposite. Rotate the inner thigh towards you. The heel moves to the left and the toes move to the right. From the hip, rotate the entire leg. Now pull down on the outer edge of the foot with the right hand, drop the arch. Now rotate the leg back to neutral so the kneecap 
the heel and the toes all line up. And then flex the ankle again from side to side. Now uncross the strap. Keep the right leg extended, but bend the right knee. Take the entire right leg to the right, so the inner thigh moves away from the ribs. Pull down on the foot with a bent knee. But take the sole of the foot up versus out. Find the deep stretch in your right hip, as well as the groin. Try working your fingertips up a little bit on the strap, maybe even to the outer edge of the foot with the right fingers. Nice. Now take a big breath and straighten the leg. Take a rest. Again, the right knee bends, the sole of the foot is up, and the entire leg kind of moves to the right, away from the ridge. Then we pull down on the foot to stretch the hip. Go one more time. Inhale, straighten up the leg. Nice. Now exhale, bend the knee. Try to pull the right knee into the right armpit. Or at least in that direction. Big inhale straightens the leg. Strap to the left hand. Let's take the right leg all the way to the left. Nice straight right leg to the left. Take a breath here now. Let something go. Let something go. Now let's go to the other side, lift the leg, exhale, right leg to the right now, stretch the groin, stretch the inner thigh. <clears throat> One more time, lift the leg, inhale, exhale to the left. Good, now one more to the right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, stretch the inner thigh. Find your stretch and then pull up slightly on the strap like you're taking the toes to the right ear. Find a deeper stretch now. Maybe knuckles closer to the foot.
Now one more giant inhale to lift the leg. Now exhale, let it go all the way down to meet the left. Take a second, wiggle the toes. Notice the difference between the legs. Can you feel? A little lighter, right? A little longer, hopefully. How about the left knee? Let's draw it into the chest. Give it a squeeze. <laughs> Open it to the left slightly. Take the hip all the way to the left, the knee all the way to the left. Take a breath. Now bring it right. Pull it down towards the right shoulder a little bit. Good. Back to center. Big squeeze. Rotate the ankle around. Big circle. Point the toes, flex the toes. Now take the circles in the opposite direction. Now big circles from the left hip. Open up those muscles, so warm them up. Now even bigger circles the other way. <coughs> One more squeeze, left knee into the chest. Now grab behind the leg. Grab onto the hamstring or wrap a strap around the hamstring. Now straighten the leg. Pull back slightly. Now release and bend the knee. And a few more times, just like that. This is a dynamic hamstring and quad stretch. Lots of movement to warm the muscles. Nice, stick with the breath. Good, now let's go to the strap. Rest the leg, drop the foot. <coughs> strap to the left arch. <coughs> Inhale, extend. Flex the toes a little bit. Lift the heel up. Try tightening the knee. Now exhale, pull back. A bent knee is still okay in the left leg. If your hamstrings are tight. Eventually, eventually. Take the pressure off the low back by bending the right knee. Increase the stretch of the left hamstring by extending the right leg. Take a few more breath, stretch. Now take an inhale. Exhale, bend the knee, rest the leg. One more time, we'll stretch it out. Big breath to lift and extend, inhale. Exhale, pull back, hold the stretch, not the breath. Take two, three good long inhales.
Good. Last inhale. Breathe in. Fill up. Exhale. Release. Bend and rest. Work the strap up into the toes or at least onto the ball of the foot. Extend the leg again. Flex the toes towards the nose. Lift the heel and pull down on the strap. Stretch your calf. Take a deep breath in the stretch. Good. Now inhale, point the toes again. Exhale again, flex and pull down. Take a breath. Inhale, point. Exhale, last time, flex and pull. Breathe. Big breath, inhale. Exhale, release. Bend the knee, wiggle the toes, and work the strap back to the arch. Extend the leg again, cross the strap, let's do the ankle stretch. Downward and outward with the fingers. Now flex the ankle side to side, stretch it out. Create tension on the strap. Pull a little bit. Start to spin from the hip a little bit, internally and externally rotating the hip. When the, lift, when the arch lifts, the leg is internally rotated. The heels move left and the toes move right. When the arch drops, see if you can externally rotate the leg. Do exactly the opposite. Now hold it. Lift the arch. Spin the knee in, heels left, toes right from the hip, pull down with the right hand. Now one more time, straighten the left leg, but try bending the right knee. Take the right foot flat. Now do the stretch again, a little bit deeper with the right knee bent, I think. Take a few breaths. Good, inhale, leg straight. Now again, straighten out the right leg. Take the heel down. And now let's take the strap in the right hand and take the left leg to the right. Stretching the IT band, the glute muscle, the outer hip. Nice little twist in the spinal cord here as well. Good, inhale, lift the leg. Exhale, strap in the left hand, left leg to the left. Stretch the adductors, the inner thigh and the groin. Still working on that left hip even.
Good, a big breath, lift the leg. Exhale again to the right. Last time here, big breath. One more time, lift the leg, breathe in. Breathe out to the left, stretch it out. Pull up on the strap a little bit. Take a few breaths. the leg. Exhale, release. Let it go. Let's take both knees into the chest again. Nice squeeze. Now we're going to try something. It's just like the stretch we did on the strap. Take the knees out nice and wide. Pull in a downward motion down onto the shins like you're trying to take your knees into the armpits. The feet are out nice and wide as well. Now we automatically got a really good stretch here in the hips and the groin. If you want to take it a step further, take the soles of the feet up, reach up and grab the outside edges of the feet. It's the same stretch. Now we're doing both legs at the same time. In Western yoga, it's called the happy baby pose. Take a few breaths, pull downward on the feet, maybe just on the knees today, that's all right. Breathe. Now try this, interlace the first two fingers around the big toes if you're on the feet, and straighten the legs. If you got the knees, just grab behind the knees and straighten the legs. Take a breath. Good, bend the knees and take the feet flat, nice and easy. Take a rest. Roll over onto your left side and let's stretch the right quad. Pull the heel in, take a breath. Good, release the leg and let's just go over to the other side. Let's take a couple nice stretches for the low back. Anybody got low back issues? This is going to feel nice. Take the strap around the feet. Feet are together and flex. Inner ankles touch. Chest and heart, sternum, everything lifts up, right? Extend. Press down with your sit bones and extend your spine. But drop your shoulders. Now take a deep inhale. As you exhale, move your chest towards the big toes, taking a narrower grip on the strap as you work yourself down there towards the 
feet. Eventually you can grab the feet. But you gotta keep pulling the chest forward and the shoulders back. Straighten the upper back, straighten the lower back, and then pull. Definitely breathing deep here. Now reach down if you're on the strap and just wrap the strap around the right leg. Or the right foot rather, right? Take the strap in the left hand. Press the back of the left knee down and pick up the right leg. Now rotate the right arm open and back. Look over the right shoulder, twist your spine. Now look at the right foot, take the right arm, grab the right foot, and do the same thing other side, left arm open and back, twist, and keep pulling upwards on the right leg. Good, look at the leg again, now grab the foot with both hands, pull up, stretch it one more time. You gotta feel good, right? Big breath, inhale, exhale, release. Going to the other side, strap around the left foot. Take the strap in the right hand and pick up the left leg. Maybe a little bend in the knees, okay. Left arm rotates back, you're looking over that shoulder and you're twisting and you're breathing. Nice, look to the foot, opposite side, right? All the way back around, right arm back, look over the shoulder, pull up with the left hand. Then look at the foot, right arm, and just one more time, upward motion, stretch that leg. Last big inhale. Exhale, feet together one more time to center. Wrap the strap around both feet. Lift the chest, drop the shoulders. Exhale, move forward. How much deeper can you go now? Right? Can you almost get to the feet? Maybe you can grab the shin bones. Right? Take a breath. Big inhale. Now exhale, straighten up. Bend the knees. Wrap your forearms around the shin bones. Give yourself a big hug. Tuck the chin, drop the forehead, and round the upper back. Do the exact opposite now. Stretch the shoulder blades apart. Lean the chest away from the thighs. Good. Lift the forehead and come out nice and easy. Let's do one more thing to the low back. I think you're going to like it. We're going to take our blocks, lower down onto our back, lift the hips, drop the block underneath the tail. We just did a lot of rounding forward with the low back. This is going to feel pretty amazing. So the block goes right onto the sacrum, basically the top of the butt crack. Right? 
If it's in the low back, probably not going to feel too good. It's a little lower than the low back area. Now tell me how that feels. Amazing, wonderful, natural, right? Choose to extend the legs or keep the knees bent. It's up to you. The knees straight for me feels a little tough on my low back. If the legs are straight, you can drop the heels. Take the arms out nice and wide. Let the palms face up, right? Open the chest. This position could help correct roundness in your shoulders. We're constantly rounding forward. To do this on a towel, rolled up towel, foam roller. Now definitely take the hips up a little bit higher and move up to the next level of the block. Increase the stretch. From the biggest, flattest part of the block, come to the long, skinny edge. want to take it up even to the next level. The highest position on the block would be the smallest little skinny square there. It's got to fit right onto the sacrum in order for it to work. You should be nice and stable once you get there. It requires a pretty generous lift in the hips. Take some big breaths in this position, the lungs, the chest, the heart, everything is very open. If you want to, reach the fingertips down to the heels. Kind of wrap your fingers around the ankle joints a little bit. Start to pinch the shoulder blades and roll the shoulders underneath you. To open the chest up, stretch your shoulders. Take the arms back out if you got the ankles. Lift the hips. Let's drop down to the second level of the block. We're going to come out the same way we came in. It's going to feel nice. Drop back down. Take a breath. Now lift the hips and come all the way back down to the first level of the block. Nice wide area.
Again, press with the heels, lift the hips, and draw the block out from under you. Lower the spine gently, roll it down nice and easy. And just take a second once the tailbone comes in contact. Notice how straight it is. Now bend the knees and take them both into the chest one more time. Extend both legs out nice and wide. Palms face up. Close the eyes just for a second. Take a big breath just like you started. Fill your belly, fill your chest all the way up to the collar. Open the mouth, let it go again. <sighs> Letting go one last time of any tension and stress. Let's do it again. Big inhale, fill your belly, fill your chest. This time, stick out the tongue, roar like a lion. <sighs> Feet together, arms up overhead, one last full body stretch. Bend the knees, roll over to your right side. And press yourself all the way back up. Nobody wants to come out of that position, do they? <laughs> Feels amazing, right? Everything's nice and supple and soft. <clears throat> Thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy your morning hike. What else would you rather do, right? <laughs> that's what I would do. That's, I'm serious.